Hidey ho, everybody. We are back for some more Polaroid rage. Uh oh, let's see, hang on. Once again, audio, audio issues. Is this working now? Okay. So, um, we are currently in the farmhouse and we just killed a moose in the previous episode. And yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna turn up the volume just a smidge more. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, um, let's see what day we're on. I have not been keeping track of the days, and uh, I think people want to know. So we're on day thirty-three. Um, I might um, get get a little counter going in in the videos i've already got about what 12 11 or 12 videos up so far but i guess it's never too late you know why not so what we're gonna do first before we leave for um oh yeah it's late it's i forgot it's in the evening so what we're gonna do real quick it's not that late but it's too late to go anywhere new <laughs> so we're gonna look for the polaroid that's nearby um one of the Polaroid locations is supposedly up in the rocks near farm uh, the farmstead. So I don't know exactly what that means. Um, guess we'll find out. Um, don't need this can opener. I'm just dropping weight though. I'm not. I'm gonna pick some of the stuff up. Definitely don't need two hacksaws. Um, I wish I didn't need this hoodie, but I do. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we'll leave the stick and the coal for emergency. We'll leave that in our inventory. Um, drop a couple of liters of water here. Three. Uh, we don't need the pry bar. The tools. Definitely don't need the spray paint. Not going to leave the need the storm lantern. Right, we're eleven percent on our bow. That is toast. Post. Okay. All right. Well, let's go on out there. I might light. I might actually light a torch just to play it safe. We'll see. Might not need it. Okay. The rocks near the farmer, the farmstead. I mean, that's got to be that got to be that seems like a polaroid -y kind of spot anyway so hey there's something in there Ooh, i'll take that that's a good one this will come yeah in. oh this was an excellent excellent car Let's see oh we forgot our, forgot our pry bar well, we didn't forget it we dropped it on purpose for once. I always say forget my pry bar, but I actually intentionally leave my pry bar. So. There is a, um, there's a bear that is semi bear cave that's semi close to this. I think it's over towards the river over there, but he wanders around here. You can actually kill the get the bear right from right from the front porch if if you're lucky. We just need to keep our eyes peeled. So just in these rocks, huh? Okay. Probably in a backpack, I guess. Let's just make a lap around. I know there's that spot where you can, um, can you climb up on these rocks? Not that I really want to, but, um, we won't be up in there anyways. But there's that little nook, uh, from, it's the spot where you have to rescue the stranded, the survivors from the plane crash, I think, in... You have to rescue them from this spot. Uh oh. Okay. 
I don't even know why I have my air my bow out. I'm just it's like this is really what I need. Unless it's a bear, of course. But then it's flare gun time, so bow is not really necessary here. Okay, so you go up here. And there's like this little nook. I don't know what you call it. A little cra a little cra crevice. 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 <laughs> What's that word? I'm just making up words now. Now again, this is the... Um, this is really the the problem. The crux of the problem with uh, pol looking for Polaroids is you don't know... If you don't know exactly where the spawn is, you there's no confirmation. You, there's no confirmation at all that you have found the spot. Um, yeah, okay. Not in the brambles. Not in the bushes in the brambles. Alright, I just feel like there's going to be a bear right around the corner. There he is. He's digging. He's digging at something over there. Okay. Well, that's good. We know where we got visual. We got eyeballs on him. Alright, so we made a lap around this formation here. Um. This would be a good Polaroid spot up in here, but probably not up here. Well, we climbed to the top at least. Look at that. You know what? We don't have any. I could use the charcoal and then we could see if we could map in a, a backpack or something. I have to start thinking about that as a as a method. Okay, um, I'm gonna say we checked the Polaroid location here and didn't find it. Um, I think if it were for, if it were at this other set of rocks, it would say it would give you a different description. At least that's. That's what my logic. That's what my. That's what my brain is telling me. But I don't know. Because people can interpret things differently. But um. all right. Well, we'll say we checked that one and we didn't find it. I am going to start thinking about just mapping, uh, just taking some charcoal, and then if you might be able to map in the backpack. Um, Possibly. Okay. So we'll sleep now and, um, and then we'll go up to Signal Hill in the morning. We got all this stuff. I'll just leave it that way. I don't forget anything. It's all laying in the floor. That'll be helpful. So yeah, we're gonna be carrying. We're gonna be heavy. So let's. Um, if we can lighten anything right now, that would probably be helpful. Um, do I have enough energy to read? Am I cozy? I'm cozy enough to read a couple chapters. I think. Um, let's just leave the. We don't need need these. Um, okay, all that's fine. Socks, we'll repair, we'll use these for like skill repairs. Let's see, I'm going to drop these though. Um, because they take 45 minutes to repair. The wool socks take forever for how big they are and how much benefit you get from them too. Um, nothing to drop here.
Okay, and we're good on cloth. We have 11. That's pretty solid. Wouldn't hurt to have more, but... We can always come back. We'll probably be coming back through here anyways to... Um, well, let's check this hat. How long does it take to, to repair this hat? Let's look. Wouldn't repairing a baseball cap seem like a super hard thing to do? It does to me. 27 minutes, that's too long. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> Just remembered. I'm gonna grab my stupid. Sorry. I'm but I'm gonna grab my storm lantern because I don't want to have to use a match if I get you know if I need to get around the house. Um grab some water too. Okay, here we go. Getting cozy. We're just getting cozy. We're propping our feet up, we're getting a little little blanket and tuck underneath our knees and get our feet propped up and Okay, we're all situated now. Let's read about shooting arrows. It's a tool, right? Here we go. Alright. So we hit archery 4 with this book. Pretty sweet. Actually, we can read quite a bit. I'm going to try to read one more, but I don't think it'll happen. Let's just try. I'm going to need to rest soon. Okay. Very nice. And then maybe we'll do some... Um, maybe we'll do some uh, repair or clothing repairs in the morning or something. Well, I feel like a dummy. Oh, I'm starving. But i got to go back downstairs. <laughs> Uh, gotta go downstairs. Hurry. Someone gets I gotta get some meat. I don't want to eat my traveling food. This is Let's see, where is it? I wonder if okay. I can drop any of this gear. Hurry, try and save my lantern. Let's eat. I'm going to save this for... Well, I'm not going to take any meat with me, I don't think. Alright, we'll, we'll make the decision in the morning, we'll see. See how it goes. Finish up our archery book. Okay, right on time. Right on time. gonna do some a little bit of repairing. I could eat anything right now. This would the pants would be good too. Okay. Sounds like it's lightening up. And we can just do this for the skills. For the lulls. Just kidding. See, these are the short. So you want it. So the scarfs are actually not that good. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna drop, drop this one. I just like to have a scarf on me for good. It's my good luck charm. Uh, I carried it with. I carried one all through my 500 day run. Um, 
and so that's what I'm that's why I do that um, this is just for skill ups right here the socks is skill ups the right term I've been saying skill ups and I don't know I don't know what else to say skills that doesn't sound right either I need to find food Shingles are rattling, that's it's not good travel weather, so we don't even have to poke our head out. Doesn't last long, does it? Goes pretty quick. about leaving some food behind but these are cured now I can make a bow oh we don't have any guts shoot dang it well we'll pick them up let's leave uh, let's leave one here let's leave one here just just to have one Saw here. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Let's see. What's her? We should have two hacksaws. I only picked up one though, it looked like. Tree four? No. Oh, I thought it was gonna take me there, but it didn't. Okay. Almost. Um get that don't let me forget that moose hide. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. Uh oh. Do we have enough water? Was I wasn't cozy enough! Ugh. No! <laughs> I got to the very last word. And then I'm like, oh, forget it. I'm too thirsty. Holy crap. Holy crap. I cannot believe that. That was ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's how you that's how you just totally just throw away a whole hour. Just threw it away. Just in the trash. My god. I don't want to take any of this stuff. I want to take all of it or leave it. I definitely want to. All right, we'll leave. We'll leave these the spare meat. I can't remember what the situation is back at the um, back at the at the dam. This is usually where I leave water, but we didn't make any water while we were here. All right, let's pick that up. Walk with this much gear. Um. All right, we're pretty heavy. We're still heavy. Drop these books. I should be eating this, but um, can opener. We can drop that. Uh, I didn't find any pry bars around here, huh? Leave that.
That's interesting. The book is open. I guess it returns to its previous state when you picked it up. Oh, come on. There's a perfect spot right there. No. That hitbox is too big around there. Okay. Um, we're still pretty heavy, but we'll just have to do it. We gotta get up to Signal Hill. And, um, at least we can run. Get up to Signal Hill. And hopefully there'll be some coffee up there. And of course, what I really, really am hoping for is some, is some peaches. I really hope there's some peaches up there. We have three cans, but, you know, can you have too, too many peaches? I, I, I often ask myself. And the answer is no. No, you cannot have too many peaches. Bed rolling pot, check. Okay, we're, we just have the moose meat, okay. Just wanted to gauge my stink factor. Gonna be coming right back through here pretty soon. Just gonna check in here real quick. There's never anything in here. I mean, there's not. There might be a piece of wood over here. Maybe. There's a oh, plank. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for the loft. Even though there's a secret passage up there. Don't fall for it. There's nothing up there. Nothing in the back seat. Ooh, some beef jerky. I'll take that. Jerky time. Jerky time. Let's see if there's a. Nope. Okay. I haven't been. I haven't been having the best of luck with this bear up here. So um, we'll see how it goes. We do have a flare gun though, so we're, we're okay. gun this guy I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get around him I have a, a stink too so that's there's a stink factor I'm gonna be able to get up on this rock that would be amazing I've never felt so cold in my life hey, look at this maybe you can get up on the other side though uh oh, he's pathing this way. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, I didn't know what to do. He wasn't he was coming at me at a weird angle. Shoot. Well that sucks. That really sucks. I'm gonna try to run up this hill before he <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. He wasn't coming straight at me and it was like uh he, he was just gonna he was gonna maul me before I even had a chance to aim. Oh well. I think harvesting that bear would have I would have just had to let that bear go to waste anyway, so Oh well. There'll be more flares. I think I only have one left though, that's kinda sucks. I didn't think about the fact that you could get up on the other side. <laughs> so I should have just jumped down and ran to the car or something. I don't know. That's, that did not go well. At, at, at any rate. gonna go ahead and eat this moose meat it's giving me problems okay all right It's funny. I'm just now realizing that the in my mind the 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 the, the, the control tower is straight ahead. Like if I'm in a blizzard, my mind map is like, oh, it's that way, but it's actually kind of wraps around. So maybe I'll remember that for next time whenever I'm lost in in the middle of a blizzard. a little bit. We can uh, maybe sleep for an hour. Rest in here. Get warmed back up and then we can head, head back to the dam. Hopefully not have any more bear action. I haven't been having the best of luck with this bear. I just said that earlier, didn't I? It's still true. Sometimes there's a pry bar, right? Yep, here it is. Okay. It's a great place for loot. Great, fantastic place. It's also very dark in here. So we'll try to search all the containers first. And then, and then hit, hit the lamp. T-shirt. Charcoal. I need that fuel. Um, and there's a first aid. Yeah. There we go. This pack 
pack is getting too heavy There's to some carry. Beef jerky. Oh boy, oh boy. Crunchy stuff. And then here's the this room right here. Toaster. Oh peaches. Hmm. Peaches, everybody. Get your peaches. Hmm. I guess we could take them. We'll leave them at the dam. Although, really no reason to. Um, okay, let's... Let's get some gas in here. there's some boots okay here's some boots those are good if prior to making your oh and these more combat pants decent look at all this great stuff work boots if you're in here at the early game work boots combat pants I mean that alone is like that's like a gold mine uh, not the gold mine. Here's the coffee. I'll take it. Woohoo! Coffee, peaches, work boots, combat, sewing kit. I mean, come on. This is this is a this place is amazing. Sometimes there's flares in here. There was a pry bar outside. Don't skip this place. You got you got to come up here. Sometimes there's a flare right there in the corner. Um, oh, here, here's one. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay. All right, we did it. All right, let's rest, warm up. Let's see, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff though. We are really heavy. Um, gotta drop your pants. Drop your pants, everybody. Huh. I mean, we don't need them. That's that's a kilo and a half right there. Do not need them. Look at all this great food we have. Sweet. Guess I'll leave a pry bar. I'd like to take it and just have an extra one at the dam. It would be nice. It's the it's this the moose it's the moose hide that that's really our, our our problem and we can't get rid of that so we'll just tr we'll just trudge along down to the down to the cave that's what, that's just what we'll do all right let's sleep for an hour we're back up get some energy and then we will hopefully not encounter a damn bear. No weapons in inventory. What about this? Oh, oh, my wrists. Okay. Well, that's a different problem. That's not no weapons in inventory. That's sprained wrists. But hey, you know what? I'm. I'll, I still love this game. It's okay. I'll get over it. Um, let's go ahead and repair our wrists or treat your wrists. You don't repair your wrists, do you? It's not, it's not, I'm not a machine. Astrid's not a machine. Okay. Where has the day gone? My goodness. Okay. 
Alright. That is it. We're in our last one. I'm just going this way because you'll, you'll be able to see the bear easier. I've had the last two times I've been up here, I've ran into the bear. So now I'm going to be more cautious about it. It's the same bear we flared earlier. It just it just paths up here, and and gives you a pretty big surprise sometimes. Okay, all right. I think we're past the bear danger zone now let's get into wolf mode if I weren't so heavy I would go up there there's a possible maple up there I'm not seeing it though eh, maybe it's not up there this time There's a little cave over here. We'll pop in there. Usually there's a couple of, you know, potentially good items in there. Crackers. There might be some crackers in there. Um, and then we'll leave the zone. With our prize in hand. Coal, are we? Shoot. Might not have respawned yet. I mean, I think we've been gone, I want to say six days. If that, maybe five days. So, probably hasn't respawned yet. Gotta warm up somehow. really regretting that bear encounter earlier but I guess the silver lining is that I don't think we would have been able to do anything with it as far as getting the hide and stuff it just don't know if it would have worked out very well I'm too cold to think Crackers. All right. Best be prepared for anything. That's right, Astrid. Always be prepared. There is a bed bed in this cave. Early game is a good. Well, of course, the control hut is pretty close to, but um, there's also a deer carcass right here, so you, it might be a place to stop just before you get into the Winding River Cave. Wait, I'm so cold. I'm. Warming up a bit. 
Lots of little mushrooms here too. We don't need any of that stuff right now, so. Let's pop in here. Let's see what this has got. Probably nothing, but you really gotta lower your expectations with this game or with or with Interloper. Sorry, that's specifically Interloper. Just lower the expectations because you're not gonna get anything. I mean, that's really what what it comes into. And so you're always pleasantly surprised if you get something. Really wish I had, we were gonna, really wish I had flares for Ash Canyon. More than one. Because uh, we're gonna go to the summit after Ash Canyon. So, I'm thinking way ahead right now. I'm just thinking about the fact that we only have one shell, one flare shell left, which kind of sucks. Kinda sucks. Sometimes there's a body over here. Maybe I've already checked for it. Can't remember. Nope, here it is. Already get it? Maybe I already got it. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's trudge, trudge along through here now. I am gonna use a I'm gonna use a match. It's okay. I think we're probably, this is, we're looking at like a, once I get going with the Polaroids, it's going to go pretty fast. So I think it's probably looking at like a 150 day run here at the most. Probably more like a 100 day run. So I'm not super worried about scrounging on my matches or hoarding my matches. It's not really necessary. Plenty, I'll have plenty of matches to do all this. Not to take anything away from a Maglin's fire. I mean, there, there's nothing more glorious than a Maglin's fire. Don't get me wrong. Let's just look and see. Yes, no, no coal. No oh, cool. Not that we could carry any anyways, but still. Still thinking about that uh, bear encounter. I'm like obsessing with it right now in my brain. In my brain. Uh, yeah, I th I've already said this though, but I'm gonna say it again. I should have jumped off the rocks when I knew he was coming up there, and then just got on flat ground, and then what? I would have been able to get a good shot at him. But I mean that's what we do in this game. We we obsess. We 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 look back on our mistakes. 
So we'll just take it. And we learn from it. We get better. So, so, but some situations are so spontaneous and unique and you just can't plan for it or, you know, you just hope maybe your instincts will kick in. Maybe you're just sort of honing your instincts by, by processing, processing, um, you know, past experiences. Oh, it's a cattail head. Looked like a piece of meat for a second. <laughs> I might need to use a flare to get past this... this wolfie. Well, if the wind gets any worse, we can just pop into the cave and just chill there for a bit. I'm starting to feel numb. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. I've got the cattails already. Yeah. That certainly makes traveling go faster. You don't have to stop every three seconds to pick a cattail. I just don't think it's safe to travel on up to the dam just yet. I don't want to use a flare. Uh, so let's just see if this wind dies down. Actually, if it turns into a blizzard, we can go too because the wolf, wolf will despawn. Okay, past shabby did us did us right. Looks like. Let's see here. Okay. Thank you, past shabby. Getting oh. a bit thirsty. Let's get this fire going first, Astrid. Then you can drink. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. All right. I guess we could just... What's our water situation? Okay. Let's make a little bit of water. Make a little bit of tea. Hmm. Okay. We got a ton of mushroom tea. Let's just make a birch bark. Birch bark. Yeah, it's still pretty windy out there. Um, yeah, gosh, I don't know. I'm just gonna pick this pot up. We'll just make some water. Gear. Need to get a few torches off this. to drop this. Um, we could read, read that last sentence that we, that we missed. <sighs> Alright, looks like it's not that windy out there. Do we have any big teas? We don't. I think we should just read for an hour. I'll make some more water. And then we'll see what the weather does. There's 850. 350. Yeah, see, this is more efficient than this. Let's just drink it. I don't know, can you, dr would you drink it? I guess you drink it. Consume it? I think we can go here to this level for an hour. Let's just read another hour and then we'll just drag our, we'll haul our butts up there. Still sounds windy. It's snowing but it looks like it's falling straight down so let's go. I'll leave some water here for future Shabby. This 
bag is getting too heavy to carry. Some... Let's, let's, let's put a birch bark down. Birch tea. Get some torches. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. It's going to be a crawl up there, but that's okay. Let's go. Hope this isn't stupid. It does sound like it's windy, but I'm the looks like it's falling straight down to me. I grabbed the moose hide, okay. Oh, it's just flowing in this direction, that's why. It was an optical illusion. Can't run. There's sort of an alternative way up, so you don't have to go past the wolf. Let's see, it's somewhere, somewhere close, I think. sort of angled back that direction. It's harder to see coming this way. There's rabbit. Go on. Them. Wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Alright, is this it? Here we go. Yeah, this is a crawl. This is a crawl here. But we'll get there. We will get there. We've already, yeah, we've checked that corpse. Do I, if I don't, we'll warm up soon.
You're gonna be fine. Well, okay, we're just moving along. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna wrap it up here, get in the dam, we'll, we'll call it. Um, looking forward to the next, you know, few few days here. Um, while, um, while the moose hide cures will be making our uh, bear coat, depending on how far along those are in the curing process. We'll probably head over to Forlorn Muskeg for uh, a day, maybe two days. See if we can get another moose. And then after that, then we'll be headed to Ash Canyon. And then that'll probably would be, I would say, the official start to our just purely Polaroid seeking phase. Of, of this uh, endeavor because uh, you know at, from the outset my, my original plan was to get fully geared up and um, ensure there's a couple of odds and ends that I still need but I think once you get the bear coat you can you can say you're more or less prepared at that point um, so um, so we'll be really just searching for Polaroids at that point. So really looking forward to that. That's just, that's probably I'd say I'd say probably three or four more sessions away from from that. Dragging our butt in here. Our tired butt. When I was putting the videos together, I, I noticed one of the rocks looked like a feather, so I just checked. It was a rock. Okay. Alright, that's it, folks. We'll see you next time. Keep it shabby. Stay shabby or keep it shabby? I don't know. A little bit of both. Okay. <laughs>